and I both know that I can't do that. You're wasting your time. I really need that tape. Where did you get this? You haven't been home for a while, have you? Where is she? Work been keeping you busy? If you lay one finger on Get the tape. Quickly. Please don't hurt her. Please, I'll do anything. Hide and seek? Yeah, how you playing anymore? Um, no, not since I was ten. Yeah, well, you should start up again. This is fun. Don't know anyone who'd play with me. Yeah, well, you do now. Do you play often? Not as often as I should. You want to play with me tomorrow? At seven o'clock? Why not right now? Well, because it's just me and you found me already. <laughs> See, made you laugh. Yeah. Yeah, that you did. Okay, so we say about tomorrow, seven o'clock. For hide and seek. Well, for whatever you want. <laughs> okay, let's do this. You come round here about seven. If I'm here, we can maybe see what we can do. All right, great. Sounds good. Cool. So I guess see you tomorrow. Great. Oh, um, I'm Jonathan, by the way. Amy. Amy, nice to meet you. Alright, great. Thank you. Do not upset yourself. This is a hard time for all of us. <laughs> Nothing but a little tramp. My dear Mrs Willis, you would do well to remember that due to my father's tragic and untimely death, you are now under my care. So like it or not, this little tramp is now paying your bills. Therefore, unless you want to find yourself back on the filthy streets my father found you on, I highly suggest you stick that handkerchief back in that miserable mouth of yours. I will leave you to pay your respects. Good evening, Mrs. Willis. <laughs>